Hello, welcome back to Coating Gaming. We are here for episode number 78, of, I believe, of our 1860 Munich FM20 series. And in today's episode, we have the final group game of the Champions League against Atletico Madrid and then a Bundesliga game against Wolfsburg. And as you can see, we currently sit in third position in the table. After 14 games played, we've won nine, drew two, lost three, with a goal difference of 10 and 29 points, which is good enough for third position. There's a, there's a real top four um, appearing in this, this season, and it's Bayern, Schalke, us, and Dortmund, which is good. There's a little bit of gap between Dortmund and Stuttgart. But the main thing is this is Group H in the Champions League. We currently sit in second place. Atletico Madrid have qualified as champions of the group. Winners. Winners of the group. Um, they haven't lost a game yet. And Napoli take on Schalke. Or Shakhtar, sorry. Na Napoli take on Shakhtar. If Napoli win and we lose, they go through and we drop into the Europa League. If we draw and they have any result whatsoever, we stay in the Champions League. But it does mean we have to go to Atletico Madrid and not concede. Which is going to be painful. Um, and as you can see here, we did get knocked out of the DFB Pokal um, in between, was it last episode? Let me just remove the non-competition ones. Yes, it would have been. Yeah, so it would have been the 4-1 um, defeat against Bayern. So these are the results we had. We lost 1-0 to Grutha Firth. Extra time. And if I look, if you look at it, it was Marcus Buttershon, the ex-1860 Munich player in the 96th minute. Absolute pain. We then bounced back straight away with a 1-0 win over Leverkusen. We beat Shakhtar 3-0. Schalke 3-2. We drew with Napoli, which was the reason we're in this mess with the Champions League group so far and then we drew with Hamburg but then we did beat Werder Bremen 1-0 and that leaves us with this Atletico Madrid and Wolfsburg games and it's big it's very big and this is the tactic or the formation we're going to be using for this episode because there's a few injury well there's an injury crisis here uh, Raphael Hager is going to be out for another two to four weeks it was I think six weeks in total he was going to be out for so we're having to play Jao Roberto permanently on that left side and it might come back to bite us. But the team is as follows. We have Craig Martin in goal, Jao Roberto, Lastra, Sternab and Springer across the back four. Carabali and Hall in the midfield with Alfredino, Malay, Fasion and Sherdan with our attacking four. And yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. I'm nervous. Daniel Hall's just come back from an injury as well, hence why his sharpness is a bit lower than you would expect. Springer's on a yellow card as well in the Champions League. <sighs> the worst that can happen is we drop into the Europa League. That's the worst now, which is good. I would like to keep in the Champions League because the prize money is incredible. <sighs> they are favourites. Our form is better. It's strong with theirs. It's consistent. They've lost... One of the last five we haven't lost in five. Let's get into it. Jesus Christ, this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Let's try and get a good result here, lads. We need this. They are playing the same formation as us. Oh, Jesus Christ. They've got Thomas Lamar, DeLitt, Luis Alberto I've been looking at. Thomas Estevez, Jesus Garcia Lopez, just everybody in this team is incredible. They've got a Ramos on their bench. Interesting. Alright. Come on, lads. Yeah, with the underdogs here, let's go and cause an upset. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Everyone. I keep misclicking. I'm that nervous, right? Jesus Christ. This is going to be painful. Do you know what? I'm going to I'm going to preemptively drop that and I'm going to go cautious. Oh, 
we are away from home in the Champions League, the final group game of this season's Champions League. Can we get a result, get a draw, and hopefully qualify for the knockout round of the Champions League at the first time of asking? It was a pretty hard draw. There were three teams out of the, out of the four that could have qualified. Obviously, if that's going to have qualified already, and we currently sit in prime position. Obviously, we are hoping Shakhtar can do us a favour as well. If they get a draw or even win the game, which would be absolutely fantastic. Um, it doesn't mean we qualify without without needing a result here, but as it stands, we need this draw. And Craig Omar has been put, been put under a lot of pressure early on these first 10 minutes. Fasion now with a chance to run forward. The first attacking highlight that we've seen gets tackled but wins the ball back. Crowded out there. Alfredino picks the ball up in the area though. Might be a chance. Can he cross it in? Gerroberto now. Cross comes in. Sherdan is there. And Garcia Lopez for Atletico Madrid keeps the ball out of his net. Come on. We can do this. We've got this. Daniel Hall's been booked. Wants us to take him off tackling. There's no chance of that deep line player maker role he's currently on. They're just running through our defence. Oh god, cross comes in. There's a chance. Oh, Craig Meyer makes a good save there. Thirty minutes gone. Then no time to get creative. As Malay looks like he wants to run forward, Daniel Horner in the middle of the park goes back towards Lastra. Do not lose the ball here. Goes out wide to Fasion. There's an overlap, but he finds Malay in the middle. Has a shot. Spring and will pick this ball back up though on that overlap. Cross comes in. It's towards Sherdan, but they've headed clear. Carabali with a wide free kick in towards Lastra. And no, oh, it's just wide. It goes agonisingly wide. And we've sort of come into their own, our own in the last five, ten minutes here of this half. It would be cruel if we were to concede here as Malay wins the ball back and there might be a chance to run forward here. Goes inside towards Carabali. Finds Sherdan back to Carabali. We've been very cautious. Alfredino now. Jao Roberto with an overlap. Finds Alfredino again. If we score here, this would be great. Carabali has a shot and Carabali scores! Hernando Carabali, you absolute legend! Oh my god! We are so far causing an upset here. We are 1-0 up against Atletico Madrid. Oh my god. This puts us in prime position in the group. Napoli are winning their game. So we cannot afford to lose this. It's Thomas Estevez on this near side there. Just playing it around. Craig Omar makes a fantastic save and Steinhoff will launch it clear. Lamar now with a deep free kick. Cross comes in. Lashter with a header clear. Fasion picks ball up. And there might be a chance for a counter attack. Sherdan here is running through towards their box. He gets tackled just inside it. Good tackle. They clear it. But Lashter picks the ball back up. Gerroberto. Lashter again. He back heels it to Gerroberto. Can you stop doing that, please? Lashter goes all the way back to Kregelmeyer. He pulls their, their attackers out of position. Stoyanov now into Alfredino. There's an overlap if he wants to use it. Malay finds the overlap of Jao Roberto. Cross comes in. Sherdan's the target. Malay picks up. Volleys it. And it is just wide. And there is still four minutes of this half remaining. And I'm so bloody nervous. I know at any point they could just do one over the top. And we could concede. Because that was very good defending from Jao Roberto actually. And Caraballi now going over the halfway line. Finds Malay on the inside. Who finds Alfredino. If, they, if we lose the ball here, this could be painful. Lastra now picks the ball back up. Finds Caraballi. Who's getting crowded. Finds Jao Roberto. Oh my god, don't lose the ball. Lastra inside. Finds Stoyanov now. We're playing it around them. Like we're Barcelona and I don't like it. Malay with Alfredino with the overlap. The chance. Shodan's there. Can he get the ball back into the box? He tries. But they do manage to clear it, and Lastra does make the professional foul inside their own half, or inside their half. And we go in at 1 0. I didn't realise Luis Alberto got injured. It's interesting, we've got, we've got three yellow cards already, Jesus Christ. 
yeah, guard against complacency. The job is not done, not even remotely. Krikomar's on a seven. That proves how how vital he's been so far because keepers do not get good ratings. They have had all. They've had five out of their six shots on target. Holy crap! As the pressure is on, now there's a throw on that far side. Cross comes in. Lashter with an ever-present header away. But their overlap is on. Cross comes in. I am actually going to preemptively here. I'm going to drop our fullbacks onto support here so they're not as far forward. Should provide a little bit more defensive stability. Come on. malay has been booked. He wants us to take him off tackling. Might be one of the people I substitute off here as Craig Meyer. Makes another save and it is a corner. There's another shot on target. Lamar with a corner. Lastra with a header. Zillit picks up. Lamar now chips it to the edge of the area. But Fasion wins the ball back and there might be a chance to release Sherdan. He tries going long early. Doesn't really work. Fasion's not having a good game. Hall's not having a good game. He's having an average game, right? There's a corner after this. I will make my first change, Vincent. To whip the ball in, starting off headers clear just about, and oh my god, Springer headers it off the line. There's a bit of shocking defending there. Kragomite holds it in his hand. Right, I'm going to make a tactical change here. Who can play deep? Rocker, anyone? Ah, he can play a deep line playmaker. Can Hall play anything else? You can play Mazzara. Right, I'm actually going to... Right. I'm doing this. <laughs> We're going back to our... our um, the formation we used to use, just a different uh, midfield three um, uh, roles-wise. I am going to take... Five. Oh, no, I haven't got Clivets on the bench. You know what? I'm going to do that. Hopefully it will be, make us a little bit more defensive. As there is a deflected cross that comes in. Or oh, shot that comes in. Gal goes out for a corner and they have it on the near side. Vincent to take. Cross comes in. Back post here. Storing off headers clear. And it is pretty much desperate defending De Lit now on the touch line. But tries to cross it in. Goes out for a throw in. Oh my god, it's 70 minutes gone that I am absolutely crapping myself. Springer headers down to Kragelmeyer. Great header, lad. Great header. Could have headed it clear and probably lost the ball. No, he headed it to Kragelmeyer and we do win the ball. But Lastra goes long and they win it like straight away. They're in our area. Cross comes in. Vincent scores. Holy oh, lord. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to demand more from him. Oh, God. There's a chance. Jaroberto takes a throw in. Carabali finds Jaroberto again. Coming inside. Finds Lastra now. Goes all the way back to Kragelmeyer. Let's not lose this ball. Stoyanov now picks up. Goes over the top towards Fasion, But then loses out. We have won it back. Rocker won it back there. In a beautiful box to box roll here. Fasion on this near side. Tries to cross it. Doesn't go to anyone, but Springer picks the ball back up, and we're putting them under a lot of pressure here. Rocker now to Hall, finds Springer, goes back to Hall, finds Stoyanov. All the way to Fasion, who finds Hall again. Fasion again. Come on, let's get a cross in. Cross comes in, it is defended, but Alfredo picks the ball up, and he's in their area. Fasion now, chance, has a shot blocked. It's been a very competitive game, I'm not going to lie. Alright, Jao Roberto, looking a bit. Oh, God, no one can play there. Brandoni, apparently, is the best. Because he can't play there. I think, I think that's the best I'm going to get. Hall looks tired. Fazio's having a bad game. Let's get Davidson on. Oh, my God, I'm making changes. I thought I was going to... Let's not be that attacking. As 
Alfredino picks the ball back up from a loose throw in here. If we can get a winner, Davidson on his far side. Cross comes into Applequist, has a shot. Why is he so far forward? 87 minutes, we've got a very deep free kick. Lash uh, Krikelmeyer to take Lastra into Stoyanov now. Finds Lastra again, please. Springer's on that near far side. Goes forward to Alfredino and he has a chance to run forward now. Crosses it towards Davidson who does win the header. Alfredino to Applequist, he's in their box now. Finds Rocker, back to Applequist. Cross oh my god, it was a shot and it was wild. And it just went out for a, uh, a goal kick. I think it cannoned off the post as it went out. Right, Stoyan. Oh, this lost the ball. Oh my god, that was a very weird shot, but it rolled. It was a p roller across the box. There's three and a half minutes as there is an offside from that free kick, as it was cannoning around the opposition area. But there is a chance. The seconds remaining. Clear it, man. Lastra does clear it, and the final whistle's gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. We have proved a lot of people wrong with avoiding defeat there. Oh my god. Napoli did win 2 0 as well. So let's confirm it here. There we go. We qualify for the first knockout round. Whew. Jesus Christ. We receive £807,000 for that. We receive £347,000 for unallocated match prize money for drawn matches in the Champions League. And Carabelli impresses. He bloody well did. Is the only reason we're quite qualified there. Um, when do we find out the draw? Because we have qualified now. So is there a draw anytime soon? Um... Any chance on the draw? I don't know when the draw is. Interesting. But I think that will be that for this episode. I'm not going to show you the next game. Um, because it's... <laughs> I've, I've had too much excitement for one day. We probably will come back for... Let's probably go for... Actually, let, let's go for the... We'll go for the Champions League game. And the first Champions League leg. And... The Hoffenheim game, actually. We'll go Hoffenheim and then Champions League, and then we'll go Champions League and Nuremberg after that. So there's a few games to play in between then, and a transfer window that could be interesting. So thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed that episode, make sure to click the like button, comment, and subscribe. If you don't know subscribing, make sure to click the notification bell. Stay up to date with everything on the channel. But until next time, goodbye. <laughs>